With the Wolfgang rework officially around the corner and us having covered it quite enough already, I'm thinking there's not much more to talk about until it's finally here in the event that Clay ends up reworking their rework, if you know what I mean. That said, there is still one final thing that I would love to briefly bring up one last time before the official release, and it's the thing that has gotten the most attention out of of me out of everything. That being this image right here, everyone. The image of Wolfgang's traveling circus. I want to talk about what might potentially be in his rework animation without going too far into it because I don't want to, one, spoil things for you or myself, and two, want to break down the actual lore we're going to get from the actual lore video without actually actually breaking open the lore myself before the lore video is actually here, if you know what I mean. Because here's the thing, folks. His compendium entry is already in the game. Now, I was gonna avoid this. I didn't want to, again, spoil anything. But since one of you pointed it out to me, I eventually kind of caved in, gave it a read, and it's kind of interesting. So allow me to read it to you. Prior to his time in the constant, Wolfgang's life revolved around the single-minded pursuit of one goal, to become the strongest man there ever was. His quest would lead him across Europe, and eventually even across the Atlantic to America, where his feats of muscular prowess caught the attention of Mr. Abernethy and Parker, who invited him to headline their newly formed traveling circus. Wolfgang quickly found himself caught up in the pageantry of circus life, and his attention began to shift to finding ways to make his show more spectacular. But fearing his own strength wouldn't be enough to keep impressing the crowds, he started employing a bit of stage trickery with each new act becoming more unbelievable than the last. As his act grew more outlandish, the risk of being exposed as a fraud grew, and he suffered one embarrassing mistake after another. This once unshakable confidence in his abilities was slowly chipped away, until one day, a chance encounter gave him a taste of the ultimate strength he had craved for so long. And holy moly, there's a lot to unpack there, everybody. First things first, it's sounding like our strongman might not have been as strong as he wanted to be or thought he was. Wolfgang might have been a fake a little bit. And interestingly enough, as he began to feed into and maybe even believe his own lies, his confidence shrunk. Therefore, I believe this is the explanation for why he even has mightiness forms in the first place. His wimpy form might actually be his true self. That is, until one day, a very fateful day, mind you, he kinda sorta crashed into someone and his life changed forever. And I use the word crash specifically, everybody, because that is literally what happened. Now, I know it is impossible to read, but don't worry, there is a translation and I will read it to you. But take a look at this newspaper scrap up here on this image from one of the very early puzzles that Clay used to do back in the day. For one thing, you can straight up see Tragic Train Crash, and again, we'll talk about that. But for another, I'd like to point out that this is dated August 23rd, 1904. So there you go. We already know the exact date that both William and Wolfgang went quote-unquote missing. And I put that in quotes because we actually don't have 110% confirmation that Wolfgang actually went totally missing after this crash. And of course, this is actually the time when William Carter found the Codex and then became Maxwell. So, you know, we're kind of using the word missing a little loosely here, if you know what I mean. But here's the gist of what this newspaper scrap actually says, folks. A passenger train struck a circus wagon that had broken down along the tracks. Dozens of passengers were injured and at least one man is missing. Now, the description of the missing man is very much William Carter, a tall, nervous fellow with an English accent. But how do we know that William was actually on this train, you ask? 
Well, because his ticket is literally right there, everybody. And it's dated August 15th, 1904. Just eight days before they would hit... And while that's great, and I want to wait to kind of speculate on how any of the interactions are going to go, there's something kind of interesting that I literally just realized today when I decided to do this video. And it has to do with the next sentence here. A search party was convened, but quickly abandoned when it became apparent that a cage of full of potentially dangerous trained monkeys had been vacated in the collision. So there you go, folks. I'm thinking that even though Clay kind of added blue monkeys with a fan suggestion, that they're going to kind of retcon it and do what they did with the crows in Wes's trailer and explain how monkeys got to the constant like this. Do I have full confidence in that theory? Oh, absolutely not. But having read this newspaper again for the first time in quite some time, probably since we did our Wigfrid breakdown, I kind of just had that feeling like, oh, they can totally explain it like this. But yes, to kind of wrap up our time here today, obviously we can talk about the man himself. We've known that he's been in the circus for many, many years, and I think that's widely known. The thing is, though, do a lot of people know that he was actually in the military, potentially? Whether in troops or troops, Wolfgang has always thrived on the spirit of camaraderie. He considers the day he joined the survivors to be the moment his luck finally took a turn for the better. And after everything we just talked about, this one very old vignette actually just got very interesting. The description of the vignette specifically, obviously, as he's just showing off his potentially fake muscles. But yes, folks, he was failing with his performances later in his circus career. And what do we know about they? Yes, that they with a capital T and what they like to do to all of our survivors and when they actually show up. Well, they show up when our survivors are most vulnerable. And Wolfgang is desperately trying to make his performance the best he can be so that he can also be the best he can be. But he's lying through the whole thing and he's failing. So he's probably going to be super desperate. Something's going to happen because we know this train crash is going to be where the codex gets found. Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless, everybody. Someone's going to show up, offer him to probably be strong at the cost of, I don't know, at this point, working out. But back in the day, something different. It's going to be great, everybody. All I'm saying is that our guy is straight up as vulnerable as he can be. And then this train crash happens and the rest is history. I do wonder though, they are kind of going hard on the circus aspect of things. So maybe the whole military thing is not going to come up. Because if they did, what would it even tie into? Because when we play Wolfgang, when you look at Wolfgang, does he scream military to you? Not at all. It's just circus all the way. The only ways we know that he's been part of something is because of his kind of obscure vignettes or maybe his skin here. So yeah, I don't know what they're going to do here. And of course, we know the guy loves potatoes. And I mean, who doesn't? Potatoes are absolutely broken in this game. And we also know the guy was maybe potentially a farmer when he was a youngin because of his examination of a pitchfork. It's one of the reasons why people were screaming at me that the potato sack was actually going to be something related to farming. And I knew it wasn't going to be related to farming, but I let you guys have it anyway. But we also know the guy is from Russia. And no, I'm not just saying that because of the obvious everybody i'm saying it's because babushka doesn't that mean grandmother in russian i don't know i don't speak it but i'm pretty sure it does so that's why we have full confirmation of his origin but finally an interesting one everybody one that i'm not entirely sure if they'll explore but wolfgang doesn't like wendy he is deathly afraid of her everybody i mean look at this <laughs> deathly afraid of her and i get it staring in her eyes i'd probably be afraid too but it's more interesting when you consider that wendy is the niece of maxwell hmm 
Guys, I honestly have no flippin' idea what they're gonna do with this rework trailer coming very, very soon. Like I said, I just wanted the day to be a very brief sit-down of some kind of small yet still very big predictions of what it might be. I'm thinking for the most part, we're on the right track, but for some of it, we're probably way far off, because you never really know what Clay's gonna do. But I'm very curious what you think they're gonna do. So please add to the discussion, folks. The rework is right around the corner, and I'm thinking we ain't gonna be touching Wolfgang unless they rework him before his official rework on Thursday. So this is the final Wolfgang rework video for now. So thank you very much for watching all the previous ones. Thank you for watching this one. I'll see you for the official one. And thank you, Clay, for making such an intricate backstory to such a small, insignificant indie game. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.